Previously, Ontario. I need you to do this. Do what exactly? Steal a quarter of a million dollars from me. I've told my wife everything you need to know. Here are the plans of the building. What do we get in return? The name of the man responsible for Mickey Cosney's murder. Asking you guys who put him in jail to steal the money and get him out? Pretty ballsy. The man who killed your friend. His name is William Cumin. Who paid you, man? I want a name. The guy approached me. Tan suit. Shades. I'm preparing the plane. We can't let this run its course. Ah! What are you doing here? I gave you the name of the guy. You want the name of the guy who paid him? They're doing the tan suit with the big chunky glasses. All right, just don't kill the police. Right. Right. I'll oh, be God. back. Get the plane. What is this? Some Montague documents that I wasn't supposed to see. Hey! Lindis! Lindis! What's the story with those papers? What does this mean? What do these numbers mean? What does this graph mean? They were uh, doing all sorts of tests on the earth at the destruction site. Gus, I just to hear all this. I just want to know what our options are, man. Um, come on, Lindis! Lindis! Lindis, come on, come on! This dude's dead. So where is he? Who? I got Josephine Lindis insisting that you and the boy Wonder kidnapped her husband. I need both of you guys to come down to sort this thing out. law offices of Margaret Lefferts. No one is available just now. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you. I don't know if I've made this clear in my last four messages, Mags. Me and the kid are in a bit of a pickle here, so please call me back pronto. Downtown San Diego. Robert Lindis made bail earlier today, walked out of the county jail behind me, and seemingly vanished into thin air. There is a statewide manhunt underway. From downtown, this is Alexa Espinoza, Channel 3 News. That lady there, you know who she is? Mrs. Robert Lindis. Boy, she's been telling us a hell of a story. Yeah, about what? Her sorority days at Kappa Alpha? that you and your partner kidnapped her husband this afternoon right in front of her eyes. Look, I don't know the woman, man. I don't know why she'd make up something like that. Maybe she doesn't like me and Hank very much since we helped you arrest her husband for murder. Hmm. Well, you know, that just really doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would the little boy have the same story then? That you guys grabbed the father and forced him in a truck. What do you want me to say? Where's Hank at? Detective, may I see you? Captain, can you just give me one moment, please? Now, if you don't mind. Don't go anywhere. It's okay, sweet Pia, right? Daddy's gonna be okay. We're almost done, Mrs. Lindis. Just tell me one more time. This is totally unacceptable and against department policy. I'm not happy about this. Yes, sir. Mark, for the first time in your life, just please don't say anything smart and just, just hear me out, okay? The case of my career to date is falling apart on me. I have a high-profile slam-dunk conviction that just strolled out of the county to say him and can't be found. My back is up against it, Captain threatening to take this thing away from me because of my connection to you. So please. Please, just... level with me, okay? Level with me and just, just tell me what you know. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, you find out about it anyway. Britt and I visited Lindis in County two days ago. He wanted to see us, and his wife paid for us to go. Why? He wanted to get bailed out. He thought his family was in danger, and he wanted to be out long enough to secure their safety. OK. 
Okay. Danger from who? He didn't say. He was just scared, and he, uh... He hired us to break into his office down on 6th and Milan and, and procure some $250,000 in bearer bonds that he had sequestered there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sixth in Milan. No, 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 because we went through that place with a fine tooth comb. Oh, well, not fine enough. He had, he had a wall safe. <sighs> Jesus Christ. You bailed him out. Oh, no. No, the wife did. We... We only supplied the money. For God's sake, why would you do something so stupid, eh? Because of Mickey Gosney, Mark. I keep telling you, Mickey was murdered. I mean, this thing's a lot more pernicious than you think. Then why don't you think of a reason why I shouldn't arrest you right now for burglary? I can think of three. Please tell me. Okay, one, you have no evidence. Two, I've admitted to nothing. And three, the only person who could attest to the fact that something was stolen is Robert Lindis. And you'd have to find him first. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And you have no idea where he is? I don't. Mark, I gotta be with my sister, okay? And I can be a lot more help to you out there than I can riding the bench in here. All right, you two are free to go. I got nothing to hold you on. He told me what you did. What did you tell me, Dad? What we did. Okay, can you take these fellas home, please? Hey, hey, where's my husband? What have you done with him? Answer me, you bastards! What have you done with my husband? I know it was you. I saw you. I saw you take him. You get your hands off me. Hank, look, I got 24 hours or I'm off this thing. Now you help me find Lindis or I will not be around to protect your ass anymore. You understand? What's that? Over there, that's kind of cool. What are we gonna do? For lunch? I don't know. Whatever you want. Let's figure it out later when we're home. Thanks, Officer Brooks. And thanks, uh, thank, thank Detective Gustafson for me for the ride. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, hey, hey. Uh, would you hang out here a bit and don't make it look like you're in a mad dash to get inside and hide a dead body. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get rid of Linz's corpse, man, fast. If we don't, we're gonna catch a murder rap. Yeah, yeah, but if they don't find him at all, okay, then they're gonna throw us in jail for kidnapping, so we gotta think this one through. Hi, Mrs. Newbar. Hi, that front lawn looks, uh, beautiful. Gustafson needs to find Lindis. Or else he's off the case, and our nuts are roasting on an open fire. And we need to dump him somewhere credible. Makes it look like he died of a head injury. Steph! Everyone walks away satisfied. Right, okay, so he died in an accident, but we gotta make it look like he died in a different accident. Hey! Where are you? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm hungry, though. You guys were gone a long time. Uh, thank you. Honey, wh what are you doing with nice pick? He's taking care of the body in the tub. Oh, shit. It was starting to stink, but you didn't have enough ice in your freezer, so I borrowed some from next door. Mrs. Newbar only had one of those big blocks. You didn't tell her what you needed the ice for, did you? Don't be stupid. You guys didn't kill him, did you? No, no, Steph, he got hit by a car. Can we order pizza? They served a really shitty pizza at the ward. Yeah, yeah, the number's on the fridge. I thought I told you to get rid of all the sharp objects. Oh, I didn't know you had an ice pick. I drank for years. Yeah, I have an ice pick. 
Why not just leave them on the side of the road somewhere? Because it has to look like an accident, okay? So there's no further police investigation. I mean, if there's any suspicious activity, the cops are going to rouse this place. And I bet you Linda's left behind hair and clothing fibers. Could just throw his body off the Coronado Bridge and make it look like suicide. No, we couldn't. Who blows 150 k getting himself out of prison and awesome himself? Sorry, bad idea. It's not bad. Remember Mr. Pickering? Tenth grade English, taught Moby Dick. With the guy that got super pissed every time people sniggered at uh, sperm whale? I'm sorry, but I said, sir, how's this relevant? Okay, because he found out that his wife was cheating on him my senior year, and he decided to go up to the mountains because he was really depressed, and he wanted to get super hammered, except he popped the cork on the way up, and he did a headlong into the gulch. I got to skip my final. Hey, you know that ravine off Route 7 7A? A? Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, hey, how you feeling? Are those meds kicking in yet? A little bit. They make me sleepy at first. Well, why don't you go get some rest? You don't need help with the body? No, no, no. That's no, no, okay. we're, we're good. Thanks. I'm going to sleep in my room, okay? I feel safer there. I'm taking the soil report with me. I like to read before bed. We should get started. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, man. Does his feet get bigger? <sighs> Charlie 17 City Patrol in Lindis residence. The front gate just opened. We're gonna check it out. Possible intruder in the Lindis house. We're heading inside. A swig of this. Hmm? Okay, you know what? I've been thinking. We got into this thing for all the right reasons, and I don't have any regrets. But Maggie was right. This is too big for us. And Mickey was a good friend. But we got too much at stake. I got Steph. You have Katie, and I say, we do this thing, and then we let sleeping dogs lie, and we just walk away from it. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I, I, if you are. Why does that matter? Well, I, I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. All right, so uh, if you were on the run for your life, what would you listen to? I don't know. Uh, smooth jazz? Shit, his phone's still connected to the car. Wait, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's the Bluetooth. Well, turn it off. I'm trying. Lindus. Shit. Lindus. Bobby. Listen, we just want the report back. Bobby, you there? Yes. Come on, come on. Let's just do this thing. All right, listen. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit resume on the cruise control. Pop the brake. It should go. You ready? Yeah, because I don't have to do anything. All right. Wait, wait. Wait, seriously. Let me just think for one second. You done thinking? God, okay. Don't, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Look, the guys who are after Lindus, once they find out he's dead... Okay? They're gonna go after his wife. Oh, what are you saying? They're gonna go after the wife and the kid for the, for the scientific mumbo-jumbo stuff on those papers. We can't do that to him. It's gonna put him in harm's way. Hank, we're in harm's way. What do you want to do, man? Blast the AC and hope he keeps? 
We don't have a choice. We have to do this now. Okay. Wait! Just one second. Wait. 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 Oh, hold on. What are you doing? I'm getting this wallet. Why? Reasons! Okay, here it goes. God, forgive us! Huh. What were you thinking? It would explode? I was kind of hoping, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Don't worry about what the other kids say, okay? Doesn't mean anything. Not a word. Have a good day. Excuse me, Mrs. Lindis. Just a moment. I think you have the wrong idea about us. I have no idea how I could. I saw you kidnap my husband. Throw him into your truck. It was an act. Your husband believed that people were after him. He was being followed. You all were. So he hired us to fake the abduction to keep you safe. And I guess I should also thank you for stealing my town car last night. Well, we advised your husband on how to do that. He had a message for you. He gave to us to give to you. Leave town. You're in danger. There are men who mean you harm. Four more associates of my husband. That's right. One of them came to see me this morning, asked me where he was. Tall man with short, crop gray hair? Big guy, tan suit. I told him I had no idea where Bobby was, but I told him who would. That's right, Mr. Dolworth, Mr. Pollock. I gave him your name, so you see, I am not the one in danger anymore. But thank you for delivering the message. Excuse me. Steph! Come on, Steph, we gotta go. Come on, sis. Chop, chop. I don't want to go back to the hospital. I'm not taking you back to the hospital, but I got to take you somewhere. Where? I'm not sure exactly yet. Why? Look, I hesitate to say this given your proclivity for paranoia, but bad men may be coming after us. So come on, get some, get some things together. Let's go. Hurry, I'm not joking. I don't really get why you can't just tell me. I, maybe because it's one of those things where the less you know, the better. Oh, yeah, better for me or better for you? Better for the both of us, yeah. Just spend the night at a friend's house. It's one night. Oh my God, Stephanie, when did you get in town? Why didn't you tell me you had a house guest? I didn't know myself. Can I get either of you something to drink? You have any diet, caffeine-free root beer? Sorry, how about water? Mm. This place is much nicer than Hank's. No, it is, it is. I'm just curious, is it designed for people to live in or just to shoot perfume ads? It's interesting, I know. Jason designed the place himself. It used to be two different apartments, hence the high ceiling. Sorry, Steph, no attic. And Jason is your boyfriend? Well, he's my, um... Fiancé. I told her you were getting married again. He should be home pretty soon, so you get to meet him. Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Listen, I might not be able to make it back for a few hours. And by the way, thanks for keeping an eye on Steph again. I'm in the room. I can hear you. He thinks bad men are after us. Yeah, well, Britt and I are in a bit of a pickle. You haven't done anything illegal. Immoral, no. Anyway, she's back on her meds. She's doing better with them. Uh, she just started, though, but you remember the rules from way back when? Don't leave her around any sharp objects. Don't let her read any proofs. Never take her to the wild animal park. Never serve her red wine with fish. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we'll be fine. Go. Thank you. You can read Proust. All right. Hmm. Oh, and say thank you to, um... Jason. 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 First things first, all right? To get whoever they are off our backs, we got to make them think Linda's is still alive. Keep the focus on him. What if somebody found his body already? Now, we would have heard about it on the news. Can I help you? Yeah. You'd like a room, please? The 6950 up front, need credit card and photo ID. Can't see the face on that ID. No, I suppose you can't. 
Very good, Mr. Lindus. I thought all his accounts got frozen. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mr. L. This card's been canceled. Well, I guess we're gonna have to pay with cash then. Uh, can I have that 20 back, please? What 20? Try mags again. Deepest shit of our lives. We can't even get a lawyer on the phone. I'm gonna miss yoga today too. You've reached law. Come on, mags. Where are you? Have you ever been in shit this deep before? Yeah, one time. I was in a septic tank, so it was right up to here. Hey, hey, hey. Him. That's the man who killed Mickey Gosling. Pretty fast line I got on Linus' credit card. There he goes. He's good. Hank, this guy is good. I know because I'm good. He's better. I don't get it. Still nothing. Did anybody hike around here? Sightland and Associates. One moment, please. May I help you? Yes, uh, the gentleman who just walked past, can you tell me his name? I'm 90% certain we went to high school together. There we go, Worth. Ben Zeitlin. Zeitlin and Associates. Good afternoon. Why don't we step inside for a few minutes? Please. Here you are, sir. It's 2% milk, right, Mirabelle, like Mr. Dalworth asked for? Yes, it is, Mr. Zeitlin. Thank you, Mirabelle. Thank you. D did I make proper introductions? Mr. Dalworth, this is Mr. Burke who works for me. Mm. In what capacity? Well, Mr. Burke works the same side of the street as you do, I suppose. He's a private investigator, but also sidelines in security matters, among other things. Mm. And what is it that you do for a living, Mr. Zeitlin, to provide such nice offices with this view? Well, I'm just a lawyer. And I'd like to represent you, Mr. Dalworth, as well as your partner, Mr. Pollock. I'm sorry, you'd like to be our lawyer? Well, I hear you were accused yesterday of kidnapping Robert Lindis. And my sources say that his wife, Josephine, and son, Tyler, both identified you and Mr. Pollock as the culprits. Now, he may well have been fleeing the country at the time in violation of his bail agreement, but a kidnapping charge is a kidnapping charge. It's nothing to be trifled with. Any truths to what they're saying? Please know that uh, as your potential lawyer, this conversation is completely confidential.
Yeah. We nabbed Lindis. Did he pay you to do that? No, we just couldn't stand the douchebag getting away with what he'd done. <laughs> Are you hungry, by the way? Because we have a private chef in the office. He'll whip you up anything you like. Any, anything within I'm reason. fine. Where did you take him, Lindis, after you impeded his flight from justice? I can't tell you that. Why not? Because if I do, then we have nothing left to talk about. Oh, and thank you for your kind offer to represent us, but Britt and I already have a lawyer. Margaret Lefferts. I know. You're a fine attorney and the proud mother of a newborn as of early this morning, I understand. So that's why she hasn't been returning my calls. Hmm. You can understand in all the confusion how my imagination got carried away. What with everything you guys are doing over at the Montague. I represent a few of the investors behind that development, but I'm not sure to what you're referring. Oh, yeah, you are. You know, the trucks coming and going with all the toxic materials, the guys in the hazmat suits poking around. Whatever it is you guys are doing that got my friend Mickey Gosney killed. Mr. Delworth. Before Robert Lindis was arrested for murder, he absconded with a privately funded pedagogical study that we suspect might bring some of the activity you just described to light. It's a soil test, in layman's terms, funded by my clients, but overseen by Mr. Lindis. Now, if you won't tell us where Lindis is, do you have any idea where that might be? I think you might. These are some photos that Mr. Burke took a couple of days ago after a report of a security breach in Robert Lindis's private office. Now, we are the only ones in possession of these photos at the moment. You and Mr. Pollock have become persons of interest to Mr. Burke since then, as well as Mr. Pollock's girlfriend. Catherine Nichols, enrolled at the Wofford School of Veterinary Science. And her sister, Stephanie, formerly the St. John Psychiatric Ward, Eugene, Oregon. And not to mention your ex-wife, Gretchen Dolworth, and her fiancé. Congratulations. You can Google and use a digital camera. What do you want? Well, we want the pedagogical report Mr. Linda stole from us back. And we want you to get it for us. I used to be a cop, do you know that? Oh yeah, of course you know that. And with your research, yeah. You see a lot of dumb things when you're a cop. You know, a guy robs a house, falls asleep on the couch, leaves his wallet behind, that kind of stuff. You know, you think, hey, that only happens in the South, but no. <laughs> no, it's everywhere. But the stupidest shit I ever saw as a cop was, <laughs> it, had, it had to be this one guy who was knocking over ladies, taking their purses and getting lost. You know, and we could never get a beat on him. And then one night, man down, man down, we show up, and our mugger's on the ground. And there's blood everywhere. And uh, <laughs> it turns out he was trying to mug this woman coming out of a kickboxing class. A kickboxing class? A kickboxing class, but before he could get his hands on her purse, I mean, this woman had just, she plastered his nose, she dislocated his shoulder, she took out his knee. I mean, what an idiot. I mean, what could you possibly hope to get? Who brings money to a kickboxing class? That was for Mickey. Maternity. This way. Gift, 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 gift. Hey, where have you been? 
has been. Yeah, that's what we've been asking about you for the last day and a half, although we pretty much figured you'd be on your back legs in the air. Yeah, and you return calls when you're in your 17th hour of labor. Is he or she? Is this okay that we're... Uh, this is Harrison. You want to meet him? Hmm? Well, that's, uh... Hmm. So, what's new with you guys? You staying on trouble? I told you. I told you this was too big for you. Yeah, and we're on board with that. Do you know Zeitlin? Only by reputation. He knows who I am? Yeah. And he has pictures of Steph and Gretch and Katie. We give them what they want, right? No, we give them what they want. They get away with what they're doing out there. Yeah, if we don't, they might kill us. Yeah, if you do, they still might kill you. All right, you do or you don't know where Lindis is. We have an idea. All right, in this report that they want? Don't tell me where. But do you know where it is? Yeah. Give it to them. Well, and then what? Take a vacation. And quite possibly never come back. We're never going home again, are we? Hey, Hank, how are you? Jason, good to see you. We've been uh, enjoying your sister's company. She's a she's a riot. She's taken apart and put back together nearly every appliance in the place. Well, that's Steph. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. I'm in a real rush. You, where is she? Hello, ladies. Steph. Gretchen said that Steph had a scholarship to MIT way back when? Yeah, she was a uh, chemistry engineering double major. My folks used to say she got the brains in the family. I got the facial hair. Steph, can I, uh, can I talk to you? What is this? Uh, Do you know what this says? This is a pedological study from the Montague property. See that designation there? C6H6. That's the molecular formula for benzene. How do you know that? It's my job, Hank. Benzene is a carcinogen found in crude oil and gasoline. This test cites levels at 380 parts per billion. Do you know what that means? Tell him, Jason. As an architect, I spent half my days waiting on soil tests. If I ever got one back like that, I'd be shut down in a New York minute. Basically, it says there's cancer in the ground. Might as well call the Montague, you know, Leukemia Springs. Who knows about this? No one. Hank, you have to show this to someone. Jason, will you excuse us for just... I'm sorry, one second, please. Yeah, sure. I can't, Gretchen. I can't. Someone's trying to cover this up. Hank, you can't let them do it. You have to report this. If I do, I'm pretty sure I'll be killed. And I probably won't be the only one. I can't. You know what this reminds me of? The time we had to climb down the ravine to the car we crashed with the dead guy inside. Oh shit, it flipped. What do you think? Can you get in? We'll see. Ah! Stop. Oh! It smells like your bedroom in here! That was a one-night thing. Quit bragging about it. About this? Yep, there's only one man around not afraid to go public with that report. Hey, yeah, is this the police? Listen, man, I was like, I smoked a few bowls and I was shrimming, right? And I was going for a walk along Route 7A, you know, I saw this car over the side by the ravine that runs alongside it about half a mile past the Mini Mart where I bought those stale Oreos once. No, man, I'm serious. It's like, it was like a Lincoln Town car. It was pitched on its, um, hood, all right, you know, and it, uh, it it had a license plate number 2SAQ. 
881. It's real serious. You should ch really check it out. You've never been stoned in your life, have you? Looking at me, you'd think yes. Police received an anonymous tip early this evening about the car, then arrived to discover the body of Robert Lindis, real estate developer and accused murderer who disappeared two days ago after making bail. Police are saying it looks as though Lindis died shortly after he went missing and are convinced the accident was likely the result of drunk driving. From Route 7A. But you can't Johnson. believe everything that you hear in the press. Hey, detective. Mark, what are you doing here? You do not like social gathering places. You know, I put an APB out on you about an hour ago. I got a hit just like that. You should really consider driving a less visible truck. I've been saying that all day. Well, Sheriff, are you going to join us or are you just going to stand there waiting for someone to draw? Oh. You do know 911 records all of its calls, right? Hmm. It's like half a mile past that mini mart where I bought those still Oreos once. Well, that was, uh, that was a damn good Florence Henderson. Not quite as good as his Tony Randall, but he's, he's good. Tell me one thing, Hank. Uh, it's unleaded. Lindis. Tell me you didn't. Mark, as much as I would love to say that we did, we didn't. You know, I don't know what you did today. And, 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 frankly, I don't want to know. But whatever it was, I am very, very grateful. Hey, let's have another round on the department. Whoa. Wow. Heaven hey. and the earth have traded places. <laughs> the financial group behind the Montague development who bankrolled this project is as shocked by the discovery of this environmental threat as anyone. How we could have allowed Robert Lindis to mislead us about this is something we'll have to deal with internally. How Robert Lindis found it in himself to cover this up is something he'll have to square with his maker. Needless to say, all building on the Montague property will cease immediately until we can get to the bottom of this scare. Thanks again. It shouldn't be your burden to take care of the sister of your fiancé's ex. Oh, I'm happy to do it. Uh, and thank you for doing the right thing. I didn't do anything. You know, we were just lucky that there was another copy of the Soil Report around. I know Gretchen will be sorry she missed you. She wanted to say thanks, too. But... Uh, hey, you all set? Nice meeting you, Steph. Hey, we should get a beer sometime. Or... Oh, you don't, don't sweat it. I know what you mean. Yeah, um, or something, right? Thank you. You guys split without saying goodbye? Well, I've been up all night. I'm about to fall over. Come back and stay with us anytime, okay? Why? Everything's fixed now. Go get some rest. You did a good thing today. I was just trying to report on a dead guy's body. I had I'm nothing. I'm impressed. That counts for anything. Hey, Gretch. Yeah. I still love you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I don't either. So, did you have a good time with uh, Gretchen and Jason? 
They're nice. He's kind of boring. Not as smart as he thinks he is. You're a good sister, Steph. I know. That pedological study, for instance? Mm hmm That thing was total bullshit. Yep. Wait, what? All that benzene with the earth metals? Those compounds can't exist together in those ratios. Not in the natural world, anyway. Most people wouldn't know that, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? The soil report is bullshit. Someone made the numbers up. Put the chemicals there for the test. There's no cancer in the ground. Are we going home? Not yet. What are we doing here? I'll tell you in a second. They were bringing shit in, not taking it out. Why would someone do that, Steph? Make people think there's cancer in the ground when there isn't. I don't know. To keep them away, maybe? You gonna tell anyone what they're really doing here? No, Steph. The case is closed. It's closed. Thank you. 